What is going on team? Welcome to the video. Just a really, really short commentary to start off today. One thing that in today's session we actually changed for Jasmine with her snatch. We actually moved the hands out a couple of inches and it completely changed the way that she moves. So this is just something to think about if you are one of those people that maybe do an early arm bend. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, Rich Froning does it, but when the arms start bending, you tend to lose a lot of power. Froning does it apparently because he has a little bit of a shoulder injury. And that arm bend that you're seeing is to be able to get a good contact point. Now with Jasmine, what happens sometimes when she goes super narrow is she'll hit the bar off her thighs and she'll kind of turn the snatch into two separate parts pull off the floor and then trying to make contact and get it above her head i kind of identified this when we were warming up and i told her just to go a little bit wider snatch grip and as you can see if i put them side by side the contact point between the two lifts the right one being her hands a little bit wider was a lot higher this also completely changed the way that she moved. Instead of the snatch being in two completely separate parts, which is a common thing that you see in a CrossFit box, it made the movement a lot more fluid. And actually the video that you're seeing is she attempted a PB right off the bat with a wider grip and hit it, which was pretty incredible. But yeah, just a quick one to start off today's vlog. If you are one of those people that do an early arm bend, you don't have any shoulder issues, or sometimes you grip the bar a little bit narrow, try not to drill that routine, put the hands a little bit wider. The higher the contact point around the pubic bone area is usually optimal but anyway smash that like button if you are enjoying the video and i hope you just enjoy the rest of the day it's kind of us just hanging around having fun and uh as it was kind of like a day two was kind of an off day quite rightly so for the games athletes totally uncrossfit related but bbc news apple has just become the first company to hit a value of one trillion that's one with one two three four five six seven eight nine 12 zeros. Crazy. Crazy. Morning, Brent. Chill Good morning, also. Good morning. Good morning. Nearly caught this guy, Brent. You can't, like, just tie it around your waist. People look at you weird with girls. Like, you totally could. You know? I think you should. Wise words from John this morning. Yeah, you know, I'm a philosopher. If you ever want to carry a jumper as a male, don't do it. Don't do it, unless you know you need it. Crossfit water. That was like a minute and ten seconds. What? <laughs> that was a minute and ten seconds. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm very focused. Very focused individual. We just made it to the CrossFit Games, and uh, John actually, Sarah Sigmund's daughter, staying in our hotel. John met her, and uh, what are your thoughts? Everyone, like myself personally as well, thought she was like one of the bigger athletes. Is she bigger, John? It's crazy. I mean, she is one of the bigger athletes when you see her on the field, but like when I was standing next to her, she isn't like gigantic, huge like you'd think. It was actually, it was really interesting. She was really nice too. I felt bad though, because she had just finished working out when I asked to take a picture and I didn't realize. Working so. out? Working out after, I don't, like I feel like you would want to right after that row, but. And she was in the little. Yeah, she was sweating man. Like, yeah. I Chaos. felt bad though. <laughs> she didn't smell that bad though. She, <laughs> no? She didn't smell bad, no. Awesome. She, Actually, look at this. Like this is how tall she is. So, Jazz, can you stand there too? Look. Like You're both, what, 5'2"? Yeah. I'm she's like 5'3". Like I'd like to think I'm 5'3". So she's not actually that tall. Yeah, she's shorter than me, for sure. Just. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like 6'4". So I'd say like she's like 5'4". Craziness yesterday, actually. The marathon row, Margot Alvarez, was like six seconds off the world record for the women. And the world record for the men is six minutes. Yeah, did I say seconds? Yeah. And also, if you wanted to actually beat the men's marathon row time, you had to row at a 140 for the whole time. I can barely do that for a 2K. I'm not even sure I can pull a 140. I nearly didn't see this bar. That's such a cool American flag. It's a what? It's a little wanderlust bar, look. It's got a little arrow and the feathers and the leaves. I love it. 
This is Tia's bar. And that's Katrin's because she's like the wolf. The inner wolf thing that she talked about. Yeah. This one this is one more tiger before we go. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, that's amazing. That's our tiger when we compete. Slot dog's like the one that we like like when we're working, when we're in training, we're slot dogs. And then our deer, I'm a deer right now. It's like a boop ba doo <laughs> What did you just say this was? So the regular is like an adult play area. It's like really cool Lego. It's Matt Fraser tape. Isn't that thrown in tape? What do you do, you know, when you're a male and the female shops, you just stand there awkwardly? You help? I do. Hey, that looks good. Yeah, that looks great. We've got like maybe... Thank you for making the buttons. You're very welcome. We've got these badges. Oh, good. Yay, Thank you for so making cool. the buttons. Oh, you're so welcome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi. 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 in the passenger side of the best friend ride, trying to follow Abby. It's like those new challenges, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's pretty? What's pretty British? Pretty and British, I and I currently look like it. Water. No, Earl, Earl Grey tea. Yes. <laughs> currently Earl Grey. <laughs> but that I mean, mean all. You mean Craig Grey? <laughs> all Grey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Because your name's Craig and you're wearing grey. <laughs> Still don't get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't get it. Yeah. Could you get any more American a truck playing country music? Just realized something, it's so bright that I, people are gonna think I'm a pirate by the end of this trip. When it's so bright, I close one eye. The left one. That's not right. Put your cap on, silly. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Going down Rocky style. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not doing that after all the deadlifts yesterday. Uh -uh. <laughs> Team, you know one of the most important things that I've ever come to realise in life is like you just gotta freaking enjoy it. I know a lot of you have just probably just gone, wow, that's not new. It's not gonna matter in five years time. Don't worry about it for longer than five minutes. Wow, that was got really deep. Still tired from running up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was epic. Yeah. I don't know why ran, music just started ran, playing and just things. Ran up the whole thing. Yeah. Food with huge Jazz. What do we have here today, Jazz? We have a sea salt, chocolate and caramel marshmallow. Yeah, I'll have to walk back or get an Uber, I guess. On a stick. On a stick. On a stick. It's all yummy. All right, there we have it. Oh, it's all yummy. The cutest what? thing I've ever seen! Oh. Dogs oh make my. vlogs. Oh, oh my <laughs> god, how old is it? Nine weeks. Oh, so wow. Cute. Have you like struggled to get along the street with people doing I'm this? Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking really me four sorry. hours and yeah. then just yeah. yeah. See, it's a little one. Oh. oh. Hi, say hi, see? <laughs> He's like, I mean, it's circle around here. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That was an Australian Shepherd Corgi mix. My whole, like, the dog that I've always wanted to get is an Australian Shepherd with two different coloured eyes. Two different coloured eyes. You literally melted just then. Yeah. You were like, you nearly took that dog. <laughs> when people ask how laid back, or how laid back am I? So, so laid back. Like, like that guy, to be honest. I never got to <laughs> you were with me, so I'm a lucky person. Yeah, you so I'll get one. Oh, yeah, for do you sure. Th you think I could take Fraser? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That's it, you're in the room for the games next year, John. Yeah. <laughs> next year, he's in a mess year. We're talking about Where are you guys from? My new fan. He knows that I'm going to take, take Fraser off. 
out, so uh, it's going to be a good day. John just convinced our Uber driver that he was competing in the CrossFit Games. Well, I felt... <laughs> I was kind of joking at first, and then he took it seriously, and then I kind of had to go with it. It was too good not to. <laughs> What's the most hygienic lift? Clean. Squat clean. Yeah. <laughs> What's the most dangerous move? The pistol. <laughs> no, they're called one-legged squats now, okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're no hero, so don't act like it. Please don't treat.